Hi, a couple of summers ago, my niece and her husband and their children rented a home near us for the summer. And when they first moved in, they both had got, began to have horrible headaches. And they figured out that they had solar panels on top of the roof. So they shut them off and within a couple days, their headaches were gone. And all the people around us, many, many, are getting solar panels on their houses and they're buying electric cars. A good friend of mine has an electric car and her electricity bill has tripled since having that electric car. And then I just found out that the government in California wants to make it so that electricity rates are going to be billed on your income. <laughs> so all these people putting solar panels on their homes, buying electric cars, are it does they're not going to save any money in the long run because the government's just going to make them pay for electricity out of their income. This is socialism at its finest which always turns into communism. So anyway, I don't want I don't want solar panels. I'd never want them. I study them and they are dangerous for one's health. And I don't trust our government at all. <laughs> Anything that it tells us to do, this government, I feel like it's they're telling us the opposite of what is good for us. I know it costs a ton of money and resources to get the the batteries for the electric cars and they're incredibly expensive to replace and the material that they use for those batteries will run out whereas natural gas and oil lean, natural oil and gasoline will not so anyway i just i think we need to be wise as serpent and as in as doves women ask your husbands you know i'm sure i've asked the women on my Instagram and most of their husbands are completely against it. They said it's a complete scam. Just don't fall for everything we're being told to do. This isn't our home. <laughs> we're pilgrims and strangers in this home. This world is ruled by Satan. He's the prince of the power of the air. We must be wise about everything that we do and research and ask the Lord for wisdom because we're just passing through here. You know, we can't control everything. We do the best we can, but then we trust God and leave it all in his hands. Anyway, I just wanted to give my two cents about this topic. It's not really biblical womanhood, but <laughs> I think it's kind of something that's interesting that's going on right now. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.